Hey everyone, it's that time of the month again, and you know what that means. Welcome back to Plastic Instruments Monthly. Today, we're uh... Bro, who the fuck wants to listen to kids reporting the news? Get someone older! Oh, perfect. So, a new season of King of the Hill has started in the Grown Hero Community Discord server. What the fuck is King of the Hill? I'll tell you what King of the Hill is. King of the Hill is a competition where Grown Hero players battle to the death and see who is the superior player. If you want to join King of the Hill, or simply just want to chat with other players, the link to the server will be in the description. Now, let's get right into the bulk of this video, aka player accomplishments. We've got quite the episode today, it is April after all, so let's start off with a bang. Solus fucking 6. Do I need to say anything else? An April Fool's joke from 2011 has been FC'd by Carney Jared. After 217 runs past Corded, 4-3 runs past Trilled, and an unfortunate choke past the strumming, Jared proved everyone wrong by FC'ing the song deemed impossible by a majority of the community. Along with this massive dub, he obtained Twitch Partner, adding him to the list of the partnered Clone Hero streamers next to Asai, Randy Ladyman, and Friff Raff. Congratulations for being honed in more than anyone else. Next up, we got another first ever from your favorite Pogfish, Thria. Solar Flare, another very old custom from 2011, has been FC'd. Even with a disgusting sliding transition section and complicated chording and star solo, Thria manages to maintain his cleanness and destroyed the song. An absolute monster FC from an absolute monster player. Man, we really have so many one-of-a-kind accomplishments in this episode. But, let's keep going with that, as Riff Raff has obtained FCs of Jarvis Solo Medley from Paradigm, Patterns 5, The Machine by Eruption Offer, and R18 Plus by Meta AXS. All of these songs are very hard, and yet Friff manages to make quick work of every single one of them, once again proving that he still and always will be one of the best players of all time. Moving along, we got our favorite keyboard player who can't stop making history, Fog Saturate. He's truly proven himself as a history maker with his Obsidian one-man tech FC and a G-Force FC. Oh, and uh, did I mention he did them on keyboard? With both of these, we can all wonder when this man will stop making history. Staying on the keyboard side, a Crisis City Community Tech FC was accomplished. A song that on a guitar requires a 2-2 has been teched by the best keyboard players. Absolutely amazing job to everyone involved, and this is just another example to add on to the resume of the keyboard community to show how good they really are. Hey. Remember how Jared of Seed Solo 6? That song has chorded verse, and well, the keyboard player 3 has obtained a minus 1 on the wrong chart of it. The main difference of this chart is that there's hopos on some of the chords, but even with that change, this section is still absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely crazy to me that 3 can do all of this amazing stuff on a keyboard that you'd find in your school computer lab. Shifting gears, Darkly GH FC'd Epidox and managed to cut the Helidox miscount down to 9- wait a minute, no, wait. 9, what the- Wait a minute, minus nine? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Anyway, it's only a matter of time before another impossible song gets demolished by another one of the best players of all time. Speaking of top players, you know him, you hate him, your favorite Papega, downer to- No, that's not right. Um, let's see, wait. Um, uh, your favorite Papega, Kristen Fat- No, that's not him either. Nope. Uh oh, here we go. Your favorite Papega, Daddy Long Legs 1998. Okay, seriously, who's messing with the script? All right, where's the right name? Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Your favorite Papega, Shmooey, and you know this dude basically owns this month, so let's get right into it. Starting off, he uploaded four of the best drumming FCs of all time, which are Nove Ruptus 125, Twilight of the Thunder God Bass 165. War 135, and Violation 125. All of these FCs are absurd, but none of them compare to the absolute destruction of Clone Hero he uploaded. Schmootage 2. The sequel to the previous video that destroyed Clone Hero. Now with more strum notes. I don't even think I need to say anything about this. Like bro, this shit has Zeppi Synth Solo 2 to Ultimate Finale 125, Panger 5 to 14 150, Amaranthine Y to Z 165, Monster Drop 150, Solus 3 Solo 185, TGE Solo 5 140, and as if that weren't enough, he had Jax films in the video, dude. Damn, 
I don't know about you, but this is quite literally one of, if not the greatest CH video of all time. After Shmootage, he uploaded tech FCs of Open Window VGH 110+, Plus, also Slop 125, The Butcher 300, Panger 150, which was in three parts, and Solos 4 150, aka the song with the best skill set. Of course, Shmooey is showing us once again why he owns the month of April, and he is going very overboard with it like Jesus Christ. Oh boy, it's time for the funny song! Supernovae. Ah yes, we all know and we all love it. A race has just kicked off between Shmooey and Carney Jared. Jared's current PB as of recording is a minus 23, while Shmooey's is a minus 9. While the difference is quite large, never count out the guy whose skill set is quite literally, I want this FC, so I'm gonna get it. Staying on the funny song, the iconic Supernovae solo has gotten its first document FC blindfolded by Nimba. Shout out to him for getting one of the best blindfolded section FCs ever. Let's keep going with the absurd accomplishments as Explorer GH has obtained a tech FC of Apollo 22++. As the sequel of Apollo 21, it's no secret that the custom is incredibly hard, and the fact that Explorer tech the plus plus chart makes this even more absurd. The only thing I can really say is FC Wen. Absolutely amazing job and uh, he has a montage in the works so make sure you look out for that. Ah yes, the greatest child to ever play CH. Ian V makes his grand return to the series. He obtained a minus 7 on Obsidian and Ripen Pairs. Honestly, I'm not surprised this dude is absolutely nutty at this game. Keep on the lookout for FCs of these songs, he'll be grinding both of those on his Twitch channel. Shifting over to the return of multiple players, we have quite the nutty returns, so let's start off with Memoria, an old school player who's returned in an explosive fashion with two FCs of Dark Haze of LOL No. He's not the only one who's come back, as Spunky, another old school player and creator of the Glacial Storm series, FC'd Solos 3, which is the first ever in Brazil. Shout out to all my Brazil homies. Let's not forget about the most absurd return this month, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you know him. The Universe's FC, yes, guy, Toby GH has made his long-awaited return to the game. And in my opinion, this dude has not lost a step in this game. I mean, he tech FC'd Supernovae, FC'd Pixelated Madness, and casually reverse choke GeForce 125. Like what? I'm super excited to see what he'll upload next, but here's a warm welcome back to every player who's returned this month. On to some community news, a group of Hispanic clone hero players have come together and tech FC'd Solos 4. It's awesome to see more parts of the community come together and do amazing things. Shout out to them and go watch their tech FC. To close things out, we have chart releases. Two packs have been released this month, which are Garage Band Hero organized by Razbash and the Zero Gravity Space Battle setlist from CSC. Both of these packs are awesome, so go download them. Both links are in the description below. And with that, that concludes the April Annihilation episode. Thank you all for watching this crazy edition of Plastic Instruments Monthly. Now please, please, please check out all the content mentioned in this video, and of course subscribe to Friff for putting this together. Oh, and subscribe to Plate Inc. Anyways, thank you for watching, and have a day.